let's talk about uh, you some more about this movie. And uh, I want to know, because how long had it been since you did a movie before Mamma Mia? Here we go again. <laughs> A hundred years? I don't know. I don't know. It was burlesque, I think, and and, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. So, I don't usually like. I almost turn everything down. I don't know why. So but why did you do this? Because the man who used to be my agent, who's now head of Universal and who's a really good friend, he called me and said, "This is good for your career. You're doing Mamma Mia too," and he hung up. <laughs> he didn't wait for your response. He just nope, hung up. He just hung up. I know who that is, Ron. Ron. Yeah, uh, and and you just trusted him. You just said yes, I'm going to do it. Well, it was between trust and fear. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those are both good motivators. Right. And it's doing. Uh, it's amazing. Like 400 million or something. It's made a lot of yeah. money. So aren't you glad you did it? Yeah, I'm thrilled. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally thrilled, and I'm thrilled that I'm Meryl's mother. Yeah. Let's talk about you and Meryl. Right. Y'all really love each other. Right. And you should, because you're both fabulous women. Silkwood is like one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, but here you are uh, in London on the red carpet. Yes. So, so y'all really love each other. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's another one, too. There was another one of, of uh, her kissing, yeah, the side of your face. Yeah. But you're fabulous together. We are. I mean, that's really fun. Like, you want to do another movie with her? I'd love to. Do you have any ideas? No. Okay. You want to come up with any? Yes. Okay. I'll right. I'll come up with right. an idea and then you'll actually, do it. you know, we saved a girl's life once, the two of us. Tell me what. So she had just had Mamie, and we were at her apartment, and she said, "I want ice cream." I said, "Okay, cool." I said, "But it's kind of a dangerous neighborhood, and it's night." And she said, "Ah, oh, no, it's like between Chinatown and Little Italy. What could happen?" And uh, so we're walking, and we and haven't got around the corner yet, but we hear screaming. And we get around the corner, and there's this huge man um, in, like, sweats and I don't know what over it, like, basketball shorts. And he's pulling at this girl. She's, like, shaking this girl. And so Meryl just starts screaming and takes off, and I start screaming and take off, too, and think, I'm going to get killed. <laughs> My friend is going to kill me. So anyway, so we're running and running, and the guy turns around, and he sees us, and he starts running towards us, and then I thought, we're really going to get killed. But we both split off in the opposite directions, and, and we got to the girl, and he kind of had ripped her clothes, but she kept her purse, and that's what he wanted. And then we're, like, trying to fix her all up, you know, and, you know, we had nothing, but we're, like, sticking it in her bra strap or shirt. Then she looks at us, and she screams, and she said, oh, my God, I'm a singing waitress, and no one's going to believe I got mugged and saved by Meryl <laughs> Streep from the chair. Wow, what a great story. That's amazing. Yep.